What's up, YouTube? Welcome to Pipes and Guitars, where I like to talk about my two loves, pipes and guitars. All right, so today we're going to talk about a tobacco blend not a whole lot of people talk about, <laughs> apparently. Uh, it's by a cigar maker called Gurkha. We're going to be talking about Gurkha Urban Legend. In the spirit of it, I have my Gurkha here with me. I will not be using this to open the tin because I will cut off my finger trying to do that. Yes, the thought crossed my mind. But I'm not going to do that. Urban Legend. Let's see what we have on the back. A unique mixture of Virginia Flake, Latakia, and Perique. Now, there are some more notes uh, when looking online. It says, Gurkha Urban Legend puts a wild spin on an English blend. A light amount of Latakia and a hint of Perique combined with the Virginias and Burleys that have been imbued by a bit of mocha. Pressed and roughly rubbed out for a long, cool burn. I love Latakia. I love Perique. love Virginias. I love mocha. So hopefully all of that together will make for a great tobacco. Maybe not. Let's find out. Today I have my Savinelli Trivi 616. So let's crack the tin, see what we got. All right. I don't have a whole lot to crack the tin here. I'm going to see if I can do it with a... <laughs> this, is a this is a wooden golf tee. I'm going to see if I can do this with a wooden golf tee. Here we go. Ah, there we go. Hope you heard that. <clears throat> okay. Opening it up. Tops off. This is what we got. Oh, some of that black plastic again, just like Hearth and Homes. Okay. All right, this is super flaky. All right. As you know, I typically like to dry flakes out for about a day, but this is a crack in the tin episode. Yeah, it's a little moist, uh, but not too bad. I think if I let it dry for about 20 minutes, it'll be all right. If you guys don't mind, you guys won't even notice, I'll just cut it out. Let me smell it and see what we got. Mmm. Smell the lot of Kia, smell those uh, Virginias. This reminds me a lot of Black House. It reminds me of the way a lot of the way a Black House smelled when you first opened it. it. Has that tangy, tangy, tangy smell to it, with the smokiness of the lot of Kia. All right, so I'm gonna rub it out, let it dry, and then we're gonna load her up, and smoke it. Let's see what happens. So I'm guessing there's a you know there's a preference to how much you like to rub your tobaccos out. I like mine super fine. You know I like mine like rubbed out all the way. You know, maybe to some of you, or a lot of you, or even all of you, I'm not sure. Maybe that is smokable right out of the tin. To me, I like I like it rubbed out fully. So I'm just gonna spend a little time, a little TLC with it, get it ready. That means tender love and care. All right, got my Trevi 616 Savinelli loaded up. Let's light her up. See what happens. Cross your fingers. Maybe it's really good. I hope it's good. I don't know who would hope that it was bad. I hope it's good. First light, not bad. All right. Um, I don't taste any kind of topping or anything. Uh, I don't taste any... I don't taste mocha or any of that yet. Typically, if it has something sweet in it, I usually taste that within the first light. And then, you know, maybe a little bit. By the middle of the bowl, you're tasting just tobacco. So far, it's burning pretty well. Uh... I'm impressed, you know. I didn't let it dry overnight or anything, even though after the after the recording of this, I'm going to let it dry tonight. Uh, let it get really, really dry. Not super dry. And then rub it out and smoke it throughout the week. 
Not bad. Uh, seems to be super mild. You know, there, there's some flavor. I'm getting a little bit of the cocoa, adding a little bit of the sweetness there. I'm getting some Virginia. Just a little bit of Latakia in the back, giving me a little smoky, a little smoky flavor in the back. So far, burning nice and cool. Get a little burly in there, you know, giving you a little bit of that nutty, burly y flavor. Let me tell you, it has been raining here like crazy. I'm actually trying to finish this video before it rains yet again here. Of course, you know, they say April showers, but in Mississippi, it seems like all we all we have is rain and tornadoes and crazy stuff. And it's looking bad out there. If you hear a few creaks or things, I'm in a metal shop, so you may hear some creaks or things. Sorry about that. <laughs> it's kind of crazy outside. So far, it kind of reminds me of a really mild version of Black House. Like a version of Black House without as much flavor. There we go. Now we're getting some of that Perique in there. Oh, now that's different. I like that. That kind of little spiciness on the back of my tongue, which is good. I like it. My big blue coffee cup. Not bad at all. Uh, a good first smoke for Gurkha. Urban legend. So... Not this Friday, but next, I'll do a musical tobacco review. I'll smoke Gurkha Urban Legend for a week, and then I'll write some music every day. You know, I'll, I'll smoke a bowl of Gurkha Urban Legend, and I'll write a guitar piece. And at the end of the, not this Friday, but next, I'll play the piece for you. Uh, I think I'm a, I got some cool ideas because uh, of the Gurkha brand name, Urban Legend. A lot of things I can do with that. All right, have you tried Gurkha? Any of the Gurkha blends? If you have, let me know in the comments. Uh, let me know if you liked them or didn't like them. Really windy out there. They're getting closer every day. All right, I think that does it for this episode of Cracking the Tin, Gurkha, Urban Legend. Remember, love life, smoke a pipe, and I'll see you next time. All right, congratulations, you made it all the way to the end of the video. So if you like what you've seen here, please consider liking and subscribing. I'm gonna put a couple of other videos over there for you to check out. Check them out. Or you can stay here and smoke with me.